everything you thought that was an impossibility, everything that you thought, well, well, certainly I can't get this breakthrough in my marriage, or I can't have this breakthrough in my family, or I can't have this breakthrough in my finances, or I can't, whatever dead end you thought you hit in your past season, God is saying your dead end is now becoming a new beginning. This is going to be your best year yet. Are you ready? Are you ready to be overtaken by the blessings of God in your life this year? I believe this is going to be a year where God's blessings overtake us. I mean, just a pile on of God's blessings where you can't even contain it. It's going to be the year of uncontainable blessings. Praise God. There is, there is an open heaven here this morning, which is a really good thing. And like, I, I'm standing here, my visionary thing is like going wild here this morning as I step into this atmosphere. Because you know, whenever there's a pure atmosphere of God, you know, visions just open up. You just step right into that place and see in the spirit. So it's like, I saw this morning the clouds part like this. And it's like, I see a rocket ship and God's saying, get ready to launch. This morning I'm launching you straight up. I'm launching you straight up into an un hindered realm of the supernatural breakthrough of God it's like it's like what I see is anything that tried to be a ceiling over your life last year God is saying I am moving those things away I am pushing those things aside and God is saying I am clearing the airwaves I'm clearing the air over your life and the ceiling that tried to contain you, God says there is no ceiling. God says there is no ceiling. No ceiling. You're going to be like a rocket ship that goes shoo, straight up. High velocity, high octane, high power, shoo, straight up. Woo. And what I see this year, it's like God is saying that the, the ceiling, the things in your life that tried to contain you in your past season, God is saying the season is now your floor. The season is now your floor. And God says what, what you thought was the end, God said it's the beginning. God is turning dead ends into new beginnings. I want you to hear this today everything you thought was a dead end in your life everything you thought that was an impossibility everything that you thought well well certainly I can't get this breakthrough in my marriage or I can't have this breakthrough in my family or I can't have this breakthrough in my finances or I can whatever dead end you thought you hit in your past season God is saying your dead end is now becoming a new beginning The ceiling is becoming the floor. The dead end is becoming the new beginning. God is clearing away the obstacles and he is launching you with uncontainable blessings. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, this is going to be a good year. This is going to turn to someone and say, it's going to be a good year. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Shandarabashanda. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are going up and you are going over. Every wall of limitation is nothing to God. It's nothing. Some of you have been facing limitations in your life limitations this past year things struggles battles warfare whatever stuff you've had to contend with and deal with and wrestle with and struggle through those limitations are nothing to God they're nothing oh get ready because what I see today is you're going up and you're going over you're going up and you're going over. You know, God brings breakthrough in a lot of different ways. Sometimes God brings breakthrough like he did for the children of Israel and he just took the walls and flattened them right down into the ground. I mean, sometimes God brings breakthrough like that. But sometimes God leaves the walls but sends you over the wall. I mean, sometimes breakthrough is like God flattens the walls. But other times God's like, no, you know what? I'm going to do it different this time. 
where, where, where it may look like the circumstance around you that is a perceived limitation is staying the same. But God is saying, I, what I'm going to do in the midst of this breakthrough is even if the circumstance stays the same, even if the person stays the same, even if the outward thing stays the same, God is saying it's not going to limit you. Come on now. Even if that person's attitude stays the same, it's not going to limit you. Even if that person's behavior stays the same, it's not going to limit you. Even if a perceived external circumstance stays the same, it's not going to limit you. And it's like I got to launch off of a little part of what I shared when I was here in November. I'm going to launch off of it here. It's like Joseph, God, Jacob had this prophetic vision for his son Joseph. And he saw Joseph being a fruitful tree planted by a well whose branches ran over the wall. And that's what you're going to be like this year. No matter what walls have surrounded your life in your past season, no matter what walls you had to deal with, you had to contend with, you had to stare at and say, God, this looks like an impossibility. I don't know how I'm going to overcome this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I don't know, God, if I'm going to be able to get over this. God is saying, even though those walls have been there, you're going to be like Joseph, a fruitful tree. This is a year for divine fruitfulness. Supernatural divine fruitfulness, where you are planted by the well of God, planted by the well of his anointing, the well of his word, the well of his presence, and no matter what walls of limitation surround you, your roots, now listen, your roots, your roots, your breakthrough has already been in process. I want you to hear this today where it looks like there's been no breakthrough. God says your breakthrough has already been in process. <clears throat> because while you've been staring at that wall in your life, God is saying, I'm causing your roots to go so deep in me. Because the deeper your roots are, the higher your tree can grow. <clears throat> the deeper the root system, the stronger the tree becomes. And in those times where you felt like, God, where's the breakthrough? Where's the change? Where is it, God? What's happening, God? God is saying, no, throughout that whole season, I'm causing your roots to go so deep in me. So there is no limitation of how high your tree can grow. And what's happening now is God is causing you to be so fruitful that all those walls around you, even if they stay exactly the same, God is saying, pay it no attention. Don't even look at the wall. God says, to me, there is no wall. To me, there is no wall. Because I'm going to cause you to go up and over the wall. You're going a wall. Come on now, this is the year for going a wall. Everything that hindered you in your past season, it's nothing to God. You're going up and you're going over. There's no ceiling. God's kicking those obstacles out of your way. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on now. You're going to be fruitful. You're going to be fruitful. Fruitful. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, no devil, no person, no circumstance, no free will behavior of another individual, no matter how stressful it may be. Those things cannot take the blessing of God from your life. Those things cannot stop you from being fruitful. All of the things that you thought were hindrances in your life, somehow keeping you down, keeping you back, keeping you from being able to excel and go forward, all of those perceived limitations, God is saying those things aren't limitations at all. Because you're going to be so fruitful, even if the wall stays the same. Even if that person stays the same, even if that situation stays the same, God is saying, I'm changing you. Yeah. God is saying breakthrough happens not just on the outside, breakthrough happens on the inside. And God is causing our roots to go so deep in him that we have vision beyond the walls that are in front of us. But we see the bigger God. We see the God who is bigger than the wall. The God who is bigger than circumstance. The God who is bigger than other people. The God who's bigger. And you're going to be fruitful this year. Everyone say fruitful. fruitful. Oh, fruitful. You're going to be so fruitful. Your branches are going to just grow, 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 grow. Oh, you're going over those walls of limits. 
You're going. Turn to someone and say, you're going. Okay. Shakarabanda. This is fun. This is fun. I mean, I don't know what happens. I come into this house. Pastor, you get to preach here every week. Man. This is such an amazing house. I love this house. I love this house. I walk into this house this morning. I step into worship. And I'm going to tell you the first thing I saw. The first thing I saw as I closed my eyes to worship God, and I don't even remember if I've seen this here before. I feel like I've seen it here before, but I have seen it again here today. I saw a plumb line coming down right here. I saw a plumb line. It's the first thing I saw. I was like, a plumb line, a plumb line, a plumb line. It's the first thing I saw. And I looked it up, I looked it up, he showed me in Amos 7, 7, 7, he showed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall with a plumb line, and a plumb line in his hand, and the Lord said to me, Amos, what do you see? And I said, a plumb line, and the Lord said, behold, I'm setting a plumb line as a standard in the midst of my people. I'm setting a plumb line as a standard in the midst of my people. And there is something that God is doing in this house where he is setting a standard. He is setting a standard in place. He's bringing a divine alignment. He's laying a plumb line. It's like like a divine order in the realm of the spirit. It's a divine kingdom order that God is just, he just, he is setting it in place. Causing all things to come into alignment. And you know when things come into alignment, I'm going to tell you what happens. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of divine health. There's a lot of blessing. There's a lot of prosperity. There's a lot of God when things come into divine alignment. It's like a plumb line. A plumb line is a standard that, that it's, a, it's, it's an instrument that's used to test even like, you know, the straightness of walls. It just is there to see, you know, how in order is the structure of a building that's being built. That's what plumb lines are used for, to test the structure of what's being built, the house that's being built. And God has his plumb line shoo, straight right in this house. This house is being built by the hand of God. This house is being built by the hand of God. Thank you so much for listening to today's message. As the word has blessed you, I'm going to ask you to partner with the anointing on this ministry. Your partnership will help us reach more lives for Jesus. We love our partners and pray daily for you. As a partner, you will receive an exclusive online library of Matt's monthly partner teachings. To partner, visit mattsorger.com. You can also download Matt's app to get free webinars, live stream access, episodes of Matt's TV show, Unstoppable God, a free audio Bible, and more. Just search for Matt Sorger Ministries in your app store. For great teaching resources, visit mattsorger.com. And to join Matt's mentoring community, go to mattsorgermentoring.com. Go and be a blessing today and touch someone's life with God's love.